hey my lovely people welcome back to our channel thank you so much that you could be able to join us on another episode today i'm doing a very typical kenyan meal i'm doing ugali some chicken and cabbage so welcome stay tuned and let's do this the first thing i did was prepare my chicken so after uh, taking out of the packaging i cleaned it nicely then coated it with some spices which are black pepper paprika and some curry powder i set it aside to uh, marinate for some few minutes while i prepared the rest of the ingredients <music> The next thing I'm going to be doing guys, I'll be preparing my cabbage which I'm going to be frying separately. Now on to our cooking, I'm going to first start by frying the chicken and uh, the only thing I did guys was put just a little bit of oil on the pan and then I covered my chicken and let it cook for about 5 minutes and then I'm going to turn it. In the meantime, I'm going to heat up my water for the ugali. Once the chicken had browned, the next thing I did was to add my onions and garlic. So I just added the onions and then added a little bit of water to help it cook slowly with the steam before proceeding. <music> Just remember guys to add salt to taste. I also added one maggi cube in chicken flavor just to enhance the flavor. Now it's time to make our ugali and I'm using semolina flour. I'm not using the maize flour that would be usually common for ugali, but I'm using semolina. It's very common here in the Gulf. <laughs>
the spices I added for the chicken marination were not enough, I went in with more curry powder and garam masala. I then added some tomato paste to form the gravy. After mixing, I covered for some 2 to 3 minutes to just allow the tomato paste to cook. Now time to add our coconut milk which will enhance the creaminess of the sauce. I then covered it for another few minutes to cook through. guys do you see that the chicken looks so delicious i'm just salivating our chicken is now ready the next thing i did was just to top it up with a, uh, some fresh parsley For the cabbage, I just did a very simple uh, process. I just fried the onion, added some spices to it and um, some parsley and then just fried it for a few minutes and that was it. And by the way guys, I'm on the lookout for an interesting cabbage recipe. So if you have any that you, you would want me to try out, kindly share and I will be sure to try it out. I really want to enjoy cabbage in a different way. So if you would not mind sharing, just let me know on the comments down below and I will for sure try it out. Thank you so much in advance. <music>
voila this is our final meal oh my goodness i don't know about you but i could have this any day any time with rice with ugali with chapati anything with spaghetti i just love the outcome of the chicken if you guys like this video if you enjoyed watching i'm really salivating at this point but thank you so much guys for joining us Thank you for always showing your support through comments and your likes, even subscribing. I truly appreciate. God bless you so much. Have a blessed, blessed week ahead. See you on our next video. Wait a minute.